Hey Nico, thanks for, thanks for sending me your swim video for analysis. What I'm looking at is breathing body balance rotation and then I'm looking at the three main phases of the stroke. Recovery, what's going on with your hand out of the water because that affects your hand entry. Ultimately the hand entry affects your underwater catch and then push all the way past your hip. So um, breathing body balance rotation look really good. Your bilateral breathing. So that's helping you with hip rotation. I just want you to know that your underwater catch and push is what drives your hip rotation. So right now, um, balance, kick looks good. You have, a, you have a, a, a kick that your legs are close together. You're not splitting them wide. And that's helping you um, with your balance. Um, let's move on to the recovery phase of the stroke, phase one, which is out of the water. That actually looks really good. Your elbow's up, your fingertips are below your wrist, below your elbow during that recovery phase of the stroke. So what I'm doing kind of now is looking at, you know, how your hand entry, which is phase two. That's where I want you to focus your time and energy is on the hand entry phase. Because like most people, you tend to, instead of entering and letting your hip rotation help extend your arm deeper out in front of you, you are looks like you're extended and you're reaching so much above the water that's going to put a lot of stress on your shoulder and um, you're reaching more with your shoulder instead of your hip. You're, you can see if you pause the video um, in various um, hand entries you can see your left hand more than your right is even kind of creating a stopping motion and that's causing your elbow to drop. That could put a lot of stress on your shoulder. So the main drills I'm, I'm going to want you to do are fist drill and head out of the water drill. Once you have a better hand entry, that's going to set you up for a deeper catch and push all the way past your hip. So it's important to do these steps, breathing body balance rotation, recovery, then hand entry, because that's going to set you up for a stronger catch and push because the goal of swimming is to, to maximize pulling the greatest amount of water with every arm stroke, and then through technique, strength, and endurance workouts, the way to go faster is to increase your arm turnover without losing distance per stroke, without losing that strong catch and push behind you. So first, again, just to kind of reiterate, hand entry, fist, head of the water drills, and maybe even some one arm only drills so you can balance out your left and right arm strength. Always keep fingertips below the wrist, below the elbow, out of the water, as well as in the water. Fingertips below the elbow. Um, fingertips below the wrist, below the elbow. And and really, you know, maximize that, that push. That catch and push right in here is where you want to put all your energy and effort. And make sure you scrape your thigh so you're um, getting that extension behind you and you're getting that, that's going to push you forward a little bit more than if you cut your stroke out short. So hopefully this all makes sense to you. Um, after I put together this video, I'm also going to send you a few links um, um, for things to think about, a little bit of an email for things to think about. So hopefully this helps, and I hope you make it a great day.